uh, hi everyone welcome to the session so today we will be try to uh, solve this uh, interesting question okay actually this is a mos based circuit and we have to find first the small signal gain of the circuit and then we have to comment uh, what will what can be the significant of the circuit okay uh, so you can see this is a not conventional uh, topology we used basically here uh, we have to we have to uh, assume the MOS is biased at in saturation okay MOS is biased at saturation okay saturation means there must be a bias of uh, like the VD bias here VS bias here and the VDS VDS must be greater than uh, this this VGS minus the threshold voltage okay now so uh, and uh, so normally what we do for your conventional topologies we generally give the input here take uh, and take output from here or output from here or give the input here and then take output from here right there are three topologies CS CG and uh, CD right but here in this case that like that there is like different topology right here we are giving the a small signal input at z okay now actually we will first uh, try to uh, write small signal model then we can find the again uh, by writing kcl and kbl okay we are not going to do like intuitively like gmr out method or any method okay so let's do it so this is properly biased so the small signal model will be looking like this So this node is our V out, this is our RS, and this node is this is bias, right? So this will be grounded, right? For small signal. And let let the challenge length modulation is neglected, that means the lambda is zero. Okay. So there is no R out. Okay. No R out means the R out will be infinity here. Okay. And here we are giving the small signal V in. Okay. So let's say this is small signal V in. Okay. So what will be the, uh, the like the dependent current source voltage so this will be nothing but gm times vgs small vgs and here small vgs vgs nothing but this zero voltage zero voltage minus this v out right so we can replace this like gm like minus of gm times v out right so what will be our v out over v in so we can see that there is only on current present here right so this current so okay so we know that the gm minus gm times v out will be nothing but v out divided by rs so actually the v out actually we are finding the small signal v out is like uh, like if, if we solve this the v out is always zero right because this rs is finite and this gm is finite right so okay let's do that so this will be nothing but uh, gm times on over r like uh, v out common on on over uh, on over rs plus gm will be zero so v out is always zero okay v out is always zero and v out is independent of this v okay so here for small signal analysis there there is no significant of this circuit right because our v out is uh, like v out is always zero and independent of v in. okay now if we consider the uh, like challenge length modulation then what will be the picture so this will be this will be like this right this is our v in this will be our this uh, dependent source is minus gm times v out right and this is our v out and this is our rs and here the gate is grounded okay now so if we if we can do again uh, like kcl and uh, do can uh, kcl and kbls right so we can see that there is two current and that current is the sum of these two currents will be this current right so so this current is nothing but minus gm times v out plus this current the current through this ro r out will be nothing but v in 
minus v out divided by r out right and this will be equal to the this current right so this will be nothing but v out by rs so now if we simplify this so we will get so so let v out okay v out is common then we have 1 over rs 1 over rs plus 1 by r out right then it will be and okay then then it will be plus gm also right so this will be the case and here we have v in over r out right so now if we can do v out over v in so it will be v out over v in will be and this is our small signal right so this will be so 1 over r out by 1 by rs plus gm plus 1 over r out so generally what happens the r out is r out is very high value like uh, towards infinity right so again we can see that the gain is the gain is almost zero okay so this is why we we we, we are not using this topology in our in our real circuit because the gain is almost zero in this circuit okay and we can think in another way as well because actually we have two like uh, two controlling quantity this is nothing but small signal vg and vs okay this is our small signal quantity and and this is the controlling quantity because it controls the dependent current source small signal current source nothing but gm times small vgs right so this is this is the uh, controlling quantity to us so that we are always try to uh, apply the small signal voltages in these two terminals and take the output from drain okay generally so this is the like this is the non conventional circuit uh, we generally discuss so i feel i i should make a video on this okay so and uh, actually this is a three port circuit so this is a three port network like three, three port element right so here we can uh, uh, apply input here i can take output from here right and uh, and give input here and can take output from this two node and give input here and take output two node so there will be six combinations okay six combination but we normally use three combination this is nothing but common source common drain and common drain okay so these three topologies gives us some significant of this of the circuit so we are normally dealing with these three uh, topologies okay so okay so you can you can do another thing like you can apply a voltage here and take out from here okay so you can do that right and you will find there i think there will be no significant of the circuit so we are normally uh, use this circuit in real life okay so okay thank you everyone please give your valuable feedback okay thank you